Hello my friends and welcome to another secrets video. Today we're going to talk about the secrets of the toolbar and the tools. My name is Olivia, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and let's get started. So the toolbar is what you see up here and the tools are what you see on the left side here. And um, if you look at them, you might have noticed that there are little white arrows below some of the tools. And when you click at them, you get a little pop-up video, uh, pop-up window where you have a selection of more tools to select from. And this can become complicated. Sometimes you don't remember where stuff is uh, or you want to have a different assortment of the tools, how they line up or how they are visible on your screen and you can easily do that by going to view and down here you can see tools customize tools and when you open that you get this big selection of all these different tools and you might notice that there are some in there that you've never seen before for example here it says the fringe tool here is a pixelate tool over here we have a diffuse tool stuff like that um those are actually more shortcuts to filters that you can find up here. For example, if you go here for noise, you have the Perlin noise filter. And if you look down here, um, you have the Perlin noise tool. So these are kind of shortcuts to filters. But what this does for you is that you can click and then just drag them into your tool um, list or line up over here uh, to have them for your easy reach in the tools and of course like with your iphone or android phone you can just move them around the others will move out of the way and uh, you can move them wherever you want and sort them in any way you want and if there is a tool oh this now jumped down here so you have to really wait till uh, um, like a space opens up if there is something you don't use for example i almost never use the flood fill tool you can just click and drag it to the right side and you can see now it's gone from your list another thing you can do is down here it says number of columns so you can go from one to eight columns for example if you have two columns you can see now the tools are in two columns side by side and you can go to up to eight columns which will basically give you uh, a horizontal menu of your tools and this is in my perspective uh, useful for mainly one reason uh, when you come up here to view it says down here dock tools and there's a hook to it and if you unhook it you can see that the tools are now floating freely over the rest of your screen and you can put them wherever you are so um I think this is mainly useful for digital painting, but also if you edit a picture, for example, you restore an old photo or something, and you know that you're going to work on a certain area of the picture for a longer time, you can just drag your tools near to that area so your mouse movement way is shorter uh, than always going completely to the left side of the screen. And when you're done with that, of course, you can go down here, click on dock again, and this will stick it to the left side of the screen again. Um, one of the downsides of customizing the tools in my perspective is that there is no way to, so, uh, to save different uh, sortings of these tools, which I think would be very useful for different purposes where you want to, for example, digital paint, you need other tools than for restoring photos or for working on editing a nice sky or something like that. Uh, but what you can do is if you know that you're going on one certain purpose for all of the day, uh, you can just uh, pull all of the important tools up in a in a arrangement that is most useful to you and then by the end of the day just click down here where it says reset and the tools will be back to their factory settings keep in mind that reset will not reset the number of columns so if your number of columns for example is five you hit reset nothing happens you have to do that by hand um, but then 
When you set it back to one and click on reset, you have the factory setting and this is very useful when you watch tutorials, when you go into your help book or on forums, people point out tools to you and you can find them because you're using the same selection and arrangement of tools as they too uh, do. So the same thing can be done up here with the toolbar. You do it in the almost the same way you go down here it says um, customize toolbar sadly you cannot undock the toolbar it's always stuck up here but you can hide it if you want to if you don't use it that much just hide it and you're done with that um, and then if, if you click on customize toolbar you get this window here with a with a lot of different uh, tools. A lot of them are already up here, as you can see. Some are in a fixed uh, combination together. Uh, for example, here you can see you have these enhancements, and uh, this includes auto levels, auto contrast, auto color, auto white balance. But if you think that you say, I never use, for example, auto contrast and auto colors, you can just click and move this down here and then just use the others that you want to use. And the benefit for that is now you can see you have less visual clutter and this means you don't have to search so often for the symbol you use. You can just pinpoint the ones that you want to use because there is now less stuff going on up here. Um, a strange thing here for the toolbar customization is uh, first of all you cannot save it again and the other thing is there is no reset button instead you have to click and drag this complete default toolbar up here that's a bit strange but once you know it it makes kind of sense and the other thing is down here you have these dotted lines that you can also find up here and those are it says flexible space, but actually what it is is a spacer. So it gives you um, space between the different icons so you can have a visual sorting so they're not all sticking together. For example, you can see if I remove this flexible space, then these and these are pretty close together. So this is just to give you a little bit more uh, of a visual hint of what is going on. So uh, that is pretty easy to use. Okay, another thing or two more things that I want to show you um, that have some um, like indirectly to do with the toolbar is if you want to hide everything from your screen, instead of going in here and hide them individually, you can just hit the tap key on your keyboard. You can see everything is hidden and now your screen is filled uh, with just this picture. Uh, that you're working on and this can be very useful if you want to work on details and let's zoom in here okay this is pretty pixelated but um, you know what I mean so uh, you select the tool that you want to work on let's take the brush here uh, I don't know do I have any color in here and you want to work on some finer details or you want to have the full screen so you see a little bit more uh, you can just switch between seeing the tools and the layers and all that stuff and just seeing your picture. So this can be very helpful. And another thing that is that combines very well with this is you can go up here to view and it says new view. And this basically gives you a new viewport. Uh, what a new viewport is, uh, for example, uh, you can see here now I have two times the same, whoops, I have two times the same window now and I can zoom out here, for example, a little bit, uh, make this a bit smaller and put it to the side. And this is the same picture. So uh, you can now see this picture up here and down here. And now when I work on it, let's take the brush again, you can see that you can see your mouse on both pictures. So when I draw something in here, I can at the same time see what the effect is in the smaller picture. Uh, so this helps me to see the general effect of what is going on and makes it a lot easier, for example, to compose pictures or draw effects into pictures where it is important how the rest of the image reacts to this new addition of the picture. And for this, you can hide your tools and also have this new viewport and of course you can close this at any time it's just another view you won't lose anything unless you close all of the windows of course okay 
This was the videos for today, the secrets for the toolbar. If you know more secret stuff that I have left out, please write it in the comments. If you like my videos, maybe subscribe to my channel. I to do two new tutorials per week. And if you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you can have a lot of great rewards, get the videos earlier and get feedback on your own creations and photos. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.